Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Neo Replicant. Where we left off, we made our way over here to try to talk to the brother. You know, the crazy one. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. Yes, it has. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind that. See you later. Wait! Yes? I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Is he gonna give me the same weapon again? He did. Don't we already have this weapon? Oh! He knows! Shh. These things happen the second time around. Hmm. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, up. shit! I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the part. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the oh, no. big enemies on the second basement level have them, Oh no, so the nightmares. Watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. No! Not the memory alloy. Do I have some? Please? I'm gonna only the real big You've got You bastard. What can I help you with? He did it on purpose. Come. Get me out of here. Where's that memory alloy again? Second floor. <laughs> Why would they do that to me? We fall so many times already heal. Give me this rat. We already found so many times. It's a shame about the older lad. It was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Okay, second floor, yeah? How much memory alloy do we need? Oh yeah, guys, apparently I fucked this quest up. But it never told me to go back to him, either. Basement too. You know, there's one thing that was disappointing about this game. In the box of the prey, I mean, of, in the box of the game, you could see the guy holding a long, long sword. I was so hoping to get that sword because it reminds me of Sephiroth's sword, but they didn't have it in the game. I was quite disappointed that they didn't have that. Could you imagine a giant ass sword? That would be cool. I mean, a very long, long sword. The elder brother postponed his joy for the sake of his sin. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. I got a broken arm, man! I thought I got him off! We need a memory alloy. I'll tell you, Alloy, that's fun.
Sorry about that, I was checking my phone. Broken batteries, several cables. They're giving me so much bombs and yeah, I don't need them. Where is this memory alloy at? That's gonna take absolute forever to swing that to him. I appreciate y'all blocking my way. Where is the memory alloy? I always wonder, like, what is through those doors, man? We will never know. But I'm pretty sure PC user will, because they could just, you know, go inside it and clip through it. But I'm not sure if this game is on PC. I like how my teammates don't catch me. Mio Mio, you're flying. You could have grabbed me a hand. You just let me fall in a poor lava thingy. Pure lava. Okay, that wasn't my fault. I accidentally slipped. There was two in there? Wow, I didn't even know it was that. There is the Amber. You see, the thing was, I swing. And I fell in. That's what happened. See, we got the amber. We're doing great progress getting our amber. Have y'all in have y'all um can we even use amber in this game? Or is it just something to sell? I'm pretty sure you could upgrade some type of weapon with it. Serious shirt. Broken arm mysterious switchy Annihilation, yes, good girl. A strap bolt!
I could hear him coming. The big boy. Mechanical creature! We got the memory alloy. Nice. We got that one go too, guys. That was awesome. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that went straight through him. He just turned to me very quickly, like, what? I see. Got it. Do you know why I'm Mr. Jack? That's how I do it. This way. This way. Ah, yes, it's the place to get out. First floor! I'm pretty sure if the monsters, I mean the shades won't kill me, her cooking will. We are here. Come guys, we are out of here. We got the memory alloy. He should be happy. And we got double the weapon. Can we sell him the weapon again? Oh, there he is. Okay, ready? What's a ship? A large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. Yay, you're so great, BP. BP, you learned so much. You have taught me much, Kalyu. You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Well, there's tons of stuff I don't know either. Maybe we should leave here and go explore the world. Because we are friends. This is actually very heartbreaking again, to be honest with you. That's right. It's gonna be so much fun. That's so heartbreaking because we know how it's going to turn down and the fact that they're letting us read this breaks my heart even more. They know what they're doing. They intentionally break people's hearts in this game. I could just imagine how Neil Alamada is going to be. Fucking break my heart over there, I bet. Between what, I am going to be doing that one too. It's just not now because we're doing this one. Can't wait for the devastating heart breaking. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Yay! Free stuff! Even though we have one. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Hi, right, peace. Try to lay off the crazy. We have some free time on our hands. Head for the forest Hopeless of myth. We might be able to find something in the forest of myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a trip. Oh, thanks. You think I want to go in there and read? Oh lord, oh lord. Hi, <laughs> right, here we go.
I love the Amiibo balls, man. It's so fancy. Onwards to the furthest of myth. Ask me all over here. We shall know what kind of myth creatures are in here. Dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. I hear you. Hello. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well. I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prey. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. I'm going in. I'm going to go near it. I want to see what's happening here. We are the grass. Oh! The trees. The woods. What the fuck? Who's talking to me? Is it a giant tree? Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? I don't know. I honestly don't. We just have a habit of doing that. You should talk, Vice. As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. It's the dark entity that governs all memories. May the words form themselves to your liking. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. No study time. Black, pure darkness painted over everything. Words scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words, enormous words, all sparkling in the dark like jewels. The words were fewer now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in despair, desperation, or despair. The tree turns to the sky. This is wrong, whispered the tree in the voice of a wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once long ago, the tree had to remember everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memory of mankind. This was no accident. Motion was much as a part of the tree as roots and bulks. Memories collected like drew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they have formed a web that spanned the entire world, was collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memories. From the pool, the worlds join together to form colonies. The colonies unite into a war pool of light and the light costly into the costly into the stars. Each stars was like a child of the tree and it loved them all. Look at my memory, they say. A child is here, brought low by the seas. He's far too young to have suffered so. Then beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleaches sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy, too, has abandoned hope. Strange emotions, strange weirdness, hatred swell within the dark. Of the boy's heart, basically. He tried to reject the black terror that glimmered in his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. He has long ceased to resent his partners, I mean, parents and doctors. Once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. 
Only one person brings boy comfort. A healthy young girl with tan skin and deep brown eyes. She's a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. We should get a little echo in this. I feel like it will match. Let's get, there we go. Testing, testing. There we go. Her very presence is a comfort to him. But he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own sake. Soon this loathing eats away at what joy he's received from this young girl visit. The girl will stop coming, he knows this. Oh yes, his every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could tell her of his feelings, this might not be so. But this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up this memory and carefully stores it within itself, etched upon its single word, envy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillow of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, a new enemy rises. Another, another. The warrior knows that her struggle is folly, but fighting the unending stream of enemies fill her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-aided mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her mind, or only in her head, the dying remains of a powerful dream she does not know. Her friends and follow warriors come and go, some flee in terror, some are eaten. She began the fight with 63 companions, but most are gone now. The warrior's body shudder. She does not understand why at first, but the time she hears the fierce, low sound, the area, no, the arena, my bad. It's already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior see a beast so large that it bolts out the sky. She's laughing. She has been doing so for as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This Melia has been stored for such a long time. It is etched with a single word. Lost. Lost. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, that memory's been lost. A shame, a shame. It was such a favor of mine. After many centuries of existence, the tree saw that its carefully labored memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seem ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Oh no, grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the distant feeling that something was missing. The mountains of memory it has so carefully assembled have disappeared. The tree stretched its branch as far as it could, but new memories refused to flow. The pools of memory was black, empty pit, a hollow place where life has once flourished. The tree has lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but swift through the few remaining memories lettering through the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Wow, shit, this place is grooming as hell. The room Jack entered was completely empty. All he could All see he was, see a, was few a few crystals scattered around, around the ground. Picking, picking up one up of the crystals and peering into it, into Jack, Jack suddenly Jack saw a familiar sight. sight. It, was it was the forest, the forest of mist, its villagers prisoner of their own dream. dream. I, apologize, I apologize, the tree thought. That is all that, that remains. As Jack, Jack stares, stares at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice employed them to listen. It was an order of finding it was mandatory, that's what it was. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Oh, I say, look down, my old boy! 
I can't do people. <laughs> a small, shadowy presence appears from beneath the floor. It appears to be a shade. The shade drops several jaws in his hand. More jaws tumble out of his mouth like shards of a broken teeth. Sights and sounds tinkling from each one before vanishing forever. The, key, the creature was abused in the memory, threatening the precious object like a collection of a cheap playroom toys. Oi! The shade appears to be consuming the memory! No? Okay. These things eat memories? The tree extended a branch towards Jack. Without a second thought, Jack brought his blade down on the shade, tearing his stomach wide. Jules burst from the shade and pours across the chamber floors. Look through the trees. There is a memory I have lost and satisfaction. Satisfaction. And many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather be upset, it greeted the Dalala with great chill. Focusing all its power on the rhythm of speech, the tree forms a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tries again. <clears throat> I employ. <laughs> It spat out a glimmering jewel. Mm, one more time, I implore you. There we are. What was the color of the lost envy? It was brown, right? Brown, yeah, it was brown. She had brown eyes, yes. Spoke that she has intelligent and emotional. Who cares? Blush should write his comment as sigh as he saw slices through the Shay right arm. The Shay extended his remaining arm to Jack. I must touch him. I must make connection. Shay moment the moment his finger burst against Jack, the tree felt a warm sensation. Began to burn. Something hot crosses through its finger, up its arm, and out its entire body. It was emotion more than entirely had felt in centuries. The tree cries, cries out in surprise and joy. One thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet contemplation. Contemplation. Whoops. The tree felt like it was going to break again. For long, certain a century. I mean. The tree has been alone, its house sealed with heavy change, but no more. New powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than simple emotion, it has been designed to feel. It was the beginning of a soul, and the young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it will be received. The tree's stomach began to drop in pain, a new and unpleasant cessation, but time was not yet right. I implore you how many was lost by the warrior who fought the red eyed beast. It was 63. Okay, okay, with the time is over, I'm gonna kill this super shade once and for all. Something round and shiny falls from the open stomach and shatters to the floor. The key, cries the book. Secure the key. The man so slow. Time began to dwindle around. Dilate around them. I'm stretching and slowing. Time is a center. The next word must be heard. The word explodes. It becomes a different to discuss their meaning, the pools of memories began to crack as infinite blackness barrels its way into the wall. Right, this is a world is falling apart. How can a world of letters? I employ most important thing, word, Yona. The light was complete. The memory disappeared. The three entities began to dissolve. As the letters slowly fade, Jack was drawn back to the real world, and the tree was satisfied. We did so fucking good. Oh, yeah. 
What in the... I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. You love that sword! With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. I see what you did there. Why does it look like there's something in there? Will you see that, right? Oh well. Either way, this is look like a nice place to take a thumbnail, because we did stay here for a minute. If you could put your sword away, my boy. Do it! I'm trying to do something here! Here we go. What? What's next? Check if the letter has arrived from the younger brother. Yeah, why not? Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. We legit annihilated today. Mm hmm. Come, my boy, now onwards we go. What the hell? They're over there attacking the boy. Hiya! Hiya! I'm here to help. There we go, that should help him. Oh crap, I knew it was in there. I felt it was... Uh... Ooh, we did that perfect, man. Wow. And it's ready to pick up whenever you have the chance, yeah? He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. Off to the junk heap then. Alright guys, so now we're gonna end it here because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more cutscenes and things. So I do hope y'all enjoy as much as I did. And I do hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day, depending on where you are. And remember, guys, I will truly see you all in the next one. I don't want to get cut out with, you know, with the cutscene. That's why. All right. Peace.